Hey, yo! Today we are showcasing a mill deck I found on Untapped that has been absolutely fantastic for me. I never was a huge fan of mill, but after playing this list, it feels so fluid, and I've had an absolute blast with it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Of course, like the main card we're showcasing here in the mill list is Baron Zemo. Um, I'm super excited to actually be playing this card. I wasn't playing it a lot during his season, um, but in this list, it makes a whole lot of sense because it is a mill list. And the synergies you get with all sorts of other cards in this, it just feels so well. And once you've learned the lines, and there's so many different lines, so it's super versatile, it feels like you can beat almost any deck. This right here is going to be the list we are showcasing today. Like I said earlier, we found this on Untapped um, the other day. Um, and the deck code will also be down in the description below. First and foremost, we have Yondu in this mill list. You're using Yondu because it destroys the lowest cost card in your opponent's deck. You're using this in mill because if you are going to play a Baron Zemo, Zemo does draw to your, or recruits to your side of the board, the lowest cost card. So, using Yondu before using a Zemo helps you have better odds to dry, draw a better combo card or a better card overall with your Zemo play. So that is why we have Yondu in this list. We have Wolverine in this list as kind of in tech option, I would say. So you can use Wolverine on some of your locations, such as a Death's Domain, or I think, I forget, it's not Morag, but it's the other destroy location that is eluding me right now, where you play your first card, it gets destroyed, you get valued Wolverine there, but mostly you are using Wolverine in this list for a Silver Samurai target. You only have three cards in this list that have two power. That is going to be your Yondu, that's going to be your Magic, and that's going to be your Wolverine. With this in mind, your Silver Samurai, more often than not, will only hit those cards. So, the value you get from Silver Samurai hitting your Wolverine, opposed to hitting any other card, is Wolverine then goes onto the board. You don't have anything to bring back your discarded cards, so you want to have a card that actually gets value from being discarded, such as Wolverine. And you're also using this in a way to discard your opponent's cards, potentially their combo cards. We're seeing a lot of Ravona right now, so you're discarding potentially a Sage, an Iron Man, maybe even Athena in hand, depending on when you have stuff going on, a Silver Surfer in some of these Surfer matchups, a Mystique. So that's why, you know, we have Silver Samurai and stuff, but that's why we have Wolverine as one of those cards. We're also trying to steal our opponent's cards, so we have Cable. Cable, you don't always have to play your card that you draw from your opponent, but it gives you insight on what deck you're playing, so you can kind of account for how are you going to be able to progress the rest of your combo. So that's why you have Cable in this list. Also, is just really good, like I said, Intel. Stealing cards from your opponents could be a snap condition as well. Um, stealing a lower cost card as well could also benefit your Zemo later on. So it, that's why it just goes hand in hand. It's a mill list. You're stealing cards. You're also playing Magic in this list. You're playing Magic because you actually do enjoy having an extra turn. So... Because of this, you can get some extra Red Hulk value. You can also be able to play a Shang-Chi and a 3-cost. Maybe you're saving Zemo till the end of the game. If you are saving Zemo till the end of the game, and you haven't drawn every card already from your opponent, playing Zemo and a Shang-Chi gives you probably a higher chance of getting their top-end card with your Baron Zemo. So that's why we have Magic in this list. Um, which is just fantastic. And more often than not, I am playing Magic before I play a Silver Samurai. Because, like I said, Magic, Yondu, and Wolverine are the only cards in this list that have two power, which are easy Silver Samurai targets, and you more often than not do not want to discard your Magic. Then we have our core card here, Mr. Baron Zemo himself. Like I was saying, you don't always play Zemo on curve. More often than not, I see myself playing either Gladiator or playing Magic on turn three. Gladiator to get some either intel or some immediate value as well from Gladiator destroying a card that costs less than them. With Hela not being as dominant as she was before, we're not seeing as many huge cards fall, and we're seeing a lot more mid-range cards, so you are getting more Gladiator value holistically. So, with that in mind too, if you are destroying some of these lower-powered cards, gives you some more immediate Zemo value. So that's why we're playing it with Zemo. Zemo I'm using normally later in game unless I don't have another three drop. That way I can get better Zemo value opposed to just playing Zemo on curve and getting a lower combo card for my opponent. And like I was saying, Gladiator is a 3-8. There's a lot of cards in this game, and I mean a lot of cards that have less than eight power. And Gladiator right now is really good for messing up a lot of these just like combo decks that people are playing. If you do actually draw a bigger cost card, like if you draw one of these six drops that is bigger than Gladiator and it can't get destroyed, 
It's not always a retreat, but more often than not, you probably retreat for one instead of your opponent snapping, you staying for two. You do have Shang-Chi in this list, which is right here. Of course, if you are playing your Dr. Octopus and you draw some of their big cards, Shang-Chi can come through, wipe that up for you, or even after a Gladiator. But more often than not, you're not playing Shang-Chi on curve. Normally, I mean, most of the time, we're not playing Shang-Chi on curve anyways. Um... But if, like, you don't have a Gladiator as well in this kind of spot, because you could play maybe a Nocturne instead, um, another good 3-drop would potentially be, like, a Cosmo or a Mobius, something that just, like, disrupts your opponent. Um, even Polaris can give you some value right now as well. So not a, not a bad idea to have Polaris as a substitute if you don't have Gladiator. And then we have Silver Samurai, like I was talking about earlier. Um, you're using this to discard your Wolverine. Maybe if you get Silver Samurai later or you get Magic a little bit too late, you can still use this to discard your Magic um, to still give you some vital intel, especially, you know, against a lot of these combo lists is what I'm saying. Like, they are playing a lot of Ravona-type cards, which Sil Silver Samurai eats Ravona cards for freaking breakfast because they have zero power. Immediate Silver Samurai target. Um, even Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer more often than not in a lot of these Surfer lists has two power, which is one of the lowest power cards in these lists right now. So Silver Samurai can get some immediate value there. Um, and then next we have Black Bolt. Black Bolt is a targeted discard. Um, like I was saying, this is your lowest cost card. So you're playing Black Bolt on curve to get some immediate value for your next card we're going to show, which is Stature. Um, so like with Black Bolt here, you're discarding the lowest cost card, what I was saying, and it is seven power. So more often than not, you're getting more than seven um, power worth of value with this discard, um, especially in some of these bounce packages because you discard their card like that. Um, but just another just immediate card for mill. It makes sense. You're discarding your opponent's card. They can't use that card anymore. And then Stature gets immediate value from either Black Bolt or Silver Samurai. So you have Stature in this list for that exact reason. So for your final, like, turn six play, you can play Stature down. Or if you have seven turns, you can play Stature and Red Hulk. Which, more often than not, is going to be more than 17 power. Because if you are milling a bunch of your opponent's cards, they're not going to be able to play all the cards they need to on curve. And your Red Hulk's going to get pretty big too. So you get a very huge turn seven play. You have Doc Ock in this list to also mess up some potential combos as well. So Doc Ock can lose you games. And you probably have run into a lot of instances where Doc Ock loses you games because he pulls the wrong cards. Which is why you got the cleanup crew with the Shang-Chi um, to kind of help that situation. Or if you do get a bad Doc Ock, retreat for one. You don't have to stay in the game. You don't have to stay in the game after a bad Doc Ock. Like if it's truly going to lose you the game, just you just retreat. Just min-maxing is, like, the best way to kind of, like, I feel like, use this list um, and everything, too. And then we got Red Hulk. Red Hulk is our top end um, over here. So, like, with Red Hulk, you know, if we're milling a bunch of cards, like I was saying, and you don't have the cards on curve, um, you're, you're pretty much just going to be able to get a huge Red Hulk. And if you throw priority in such a way, Red Hulk's going to be huge. Not going to get shung would of course, there are certain instances where, like, Clog can mess up this entire gameplay because, you know, with your Zemo, you don't have the space. Or you've played Zemo, so you have two cards on that turn, and then you get hit with a, a Widow's Kiss, or then you get hit with a Rock. But more often than not, this list feels good. You're stealing cards from your opponents. Um, if you don't have Red Hulk, I would go for maybe a bigger 6-drop. Um... I wouldn't say anything like a like Giganto. You could also play like a Magneto. Magneto also can disrupt um, what your opponent is trying to do. So I think Magneto um, is a good swap. If we look at some other six drops, by the way, Eliath's not horrible. Um, Eliath would also like enable you to disrupt your opponent with their final play um, because they're trying to play a big card or potentially something with some abilities. Eliath is solid, potentially even leader. If you do have the board space, leader's not a bad idea. Um, but more often than not, I would say those would be probably more solid um, options for you to like kind of like optimize the list and everything. But yeah, that is the general summary of what we got going on over here. This is a mill list. Shout out to the homie Baron Zemo. If you don't have Zemo, there's not really a specific substitute for Zemo because it's just a so unique ability. Um, but yeah, this list is so much fun. Um, I, I have so much fun playing this list. I used to just hate Mill because, like, I felt like it was just it just it, it just irked me. But now actually playing it, it adds a different level, like a good feeling and everything too. Um, but that's the general summary of the cards we got going over over here. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some gameplay. Oh, this is gonna be freaking busting. Oh. 
This is about to be freaking bussin'. You've always used Hercules, but doesn't he feel extra special now? Some extra special Hercules uh, shenanigans now. You know? So it, it, it's good to see. I'm, I'm interested to see how the meta shapes up this weekend. Because I feel like right now, people are really trying a lot of things, you know? People are kind of kind of trying a lot of things. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what goes forward like in the future, right? Um, we are just playing Mill right now. To, to see see what other people mess around. And then we also will be playing... Oh my, we're playing C3. I have Cerebro. Oh my goodness. This is about to be disgusting. Oh my gosh. And Taro Band in the building. What is up, Taro? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Okay, Rhino went off twice, I think. Does Gladiator still go off twice? Oh, he does still go off twice. Oh, mamma mia. This is about to be disgusting. Okay, well, great, great, great first matchup here for us. Yeah, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible for us. We're going to do this. They don't know we have Cerebro. Um, so, wowzers. I use Hercules in my move deck, but I have a newer use. I never use it optimally. Most of the times, he's just there for stats. Well, now I feel like you can truly use Hercules uh, optimally. Truly. Also, they don't have Cerebro. They don't know they don't have Cerebro. Um, and they also don't have Mystique. So if we can just scale in power, this is about to be kind of crazy. Definitely is going to be kind of crazy. I think I do this into this over here. Um, then Gladiator can't get hit by... Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my word. Yep. Now, Gladiator can't get hit by Valkyrie, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, they have no more cards for me to draw. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. See what happens here. And then I have Red Hulk to mess around with. Um, so, this should feel pretty good. Actually, hold up. Let me do this on the right instead. Try and fill that up. And then I have... Oh, my... Okay. Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Okay. And then I just Red Hulk. I Red Hulk right. And then we win. They can get uh, 12 power left. It's nothing actually crazy over here. They don't have Cerebro. Yeah. Well, okay. That, that's that's solid. It's solid for us here. Valkyrie middle. Yeah, we stole other cards. That was tough. Really, really tough for them. Victory. That's freaking crazy! Um, yo, Hector! I love your Scarlet Spider profile pic, by the way. I used High Evil and Swarm Gambit with Sarah Onslaught and Fastos. Wait, what, what is this list you're playing, Butcher? Interesting. Um, okay, I, I like I like what we're working with over here. I like I like uh, like the vibes. Um, you just got a great split on magic. Ooh, what did what did you get on your magic shade? Um, Colson, not bad. Okay, we have Samurai. We have we have a bunch of good stuff here, actually. This feels pretty good. This feels pretty good. Are they playing more of a Ronin iteration of it, I guess, with the Maximus and stuff? Or or what? What's about to happen here? We both magic middle. Understood. Ooh, okay, Butcher. That makes sense. It's from the, the cozy list. We both magic on Limbo. They got a freaking inked out magic with a black glimmer. Give me something big. Nakia? Honestly, not horrible, but what do they get? Negasonic? Okay, we can make this work. We are going to do... Silver Samurai here, which either hits Yondu, it hits Yondu, which allows me to play Wolverine onto the Negasonic lane. Okay, this is going to be good. This feels pretty good. Shadow King into the Yondu... And they gladiator me until Baron Zemo. Zemo gets me a ham. Okay. That's honestly not horrible. Not horrible for us here. I'm snapping into the Black Bolt. And then we get some Red Hulk value as well. 
Yeah, I'm, I was late to stream Frostman because uh, we were doing a collab video earlier. We were doing a, a collab video that you guys will see uh, either tomorrow or the next day. Oh, stature value. Value. Yeah, we were supposed. We, I mean, we are we are behind on the streaming schedule. Like full transparency. Yeah, what's up, Nedrix? How we doing, Mary? How you doing, Queen? It is good to see you. If I have a Discord, butcher. I do have a Discord. I can post the Discord actually in just a second for you. We're gonna go boom. It's a uh, yo. We got Lost Cause in the house. What's up, Lost Cause? How you doing, brother? Welcome in, my friend. This feels pretty spicy, guys. Pretty pretty spicy. Get the Wolverine value. We get some Colson value. Ooh, ooh! Imagine if I'd actually had that Nimrod. Um, they get my Gladiator, right? They just got my Gladiator. Um, and then I'm going to. I have a 26 powered Red Hulk, by the way. 26 powered Red Hulk. They can play Gladiator over here. They play Gladiator here. They can't play. They can play Gladiator and Shang Chi. If they do play Gladiator and Shang Chi. The safest option for me is probably this into this. That beats the Gladiator. They do have Jeff. They could play Jeff middle to win middle. Um, you think Gladiator pulls the hammer for Bill? That is true. Gladiator does pull the hammer. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to do that. We are going to do that because they're going to go for stonks. I get the Beta Ray Bill. They play Shang-Chi first. Shang-Chi first. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. And then it's the... Be no, we Yondu. Oh, it, either way, we're good. Okay. Never mind. Huge. Huge 29 power Red Hulk, by the way. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. It's okay. Another one over here. With the Doc Ock, with the Cable. Like, we're still looking kind of pretty. I mean, they still had some other options to be able to just win left. I didn't have, like, the best best kind of thing there. But let's see. Fastos, Pixie, Evo. Ooh, okay. Getting a little spicy out here. Got a little, a little sauce. We're floating. Blob! Now we float. Oh, my gosh. Samurai hits Blob every time here. They float again? Homie, what? Um, we Zemo here. Huh. Yeah, no, Scarlet Spider. I'm very excited for Scarlet Spider. Very, very excited. Reality Stone into Morag. Okay, so we, we do get some, some good value here. And a Space Stone, so we get Wolverine. We go Black Bolt into a Stature Doc Ock. Do we snap this for five? Mockingbird's down. Vision? I go Doc Ock. Force them to Thanos left. Or do we play this way? I mean, they vision middle, they dock ock right, they have to play around this. This feels really good. Wow. Good good, good five cubers for us there. Love that for us. Victory. Uh, Red Hulk would still have 16 power. He just would not get any plus threes. That's what Red Hulk would do in deep space. Yeah, so just want to gain power. The same as like if Red Hulk got a lieth. If Red Hulk were also to get a Lyoth, um, Red Hulk would just not get a plus three if you floated any energy. That's the difference. Yo, Gato, thank you so much for the 10 months, my friend. Welcome back to Royalty King. Say what? Welcome back to Royalty, my friend. Here we go. Yeah. No. Eliath, no, Eliath disables text. So, like, Noel wouldn't have his ongoing ability either. He disables tech, so, like, Red Hulk would not go up. It works on ongoing stuff, too. Yeah, it hits everything. 
It hits everything. Yeah, I love the black pool. Yeah. Remove all the text from unrevealed cards here. Uh, yeah, I love, I love, love the the black pool. Um, yeah. Um, we're gonna do this. Mockingbird. I know this doesn't hit Wolverine, but it hits Soulstone, which also hits Shang Chi, which is huge. And then we are going to Black Bolt here, which is also going to be just freaking awesome. Yeah, Hygatron does need an update. I agree. Vision. Okay, I like this. I like, I like what we're messing around here. We get some some more value. Um, we are going to. They have Blue Marvel Fastos. I'm thinking if I do this. Into let me do let me do this this and this here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Time stone dies as well. Thanos right. I'm gonna kill Thanos. This goes to 16 if he moves it over. Or I simply could go do this. They have Blob, Magneto, Sh Blue Marvel. I think we just go Red Hulk right. What's up, Taylor? How you doing? Welcome in. Oh, let's go. Victory. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys stuck around to the very end, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. If you guys would comment down below what your favorite mill card is or which mill card you hate the most, just let me know. Until the next one, my friends, Tucker out.